Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. Stability AI has released Stable Diffusion 2.1. Yes, Stability AI has released Stable Diffusion 2.1 and you can access that today using Diffusers, Automatic 1111 and whatever way you use Stable Diffusion usually. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can access Stable Diffusion 2.1 and what are the certain things that you can expect that it has changed. That's what we are going to cover. And the first image that they've got on the blog post, the announcement post is really amazing. But unfortunately, I couldn't reproduce this image. I don't know if it is my bad luck I couldn't reproduce, but I couldn't actually reproduce. If you manage to reproduce this image, please, please let me know what did you do. But I would love to see stable diffusion or stability AI being a little bit more on the reproducibility side, especially, you know, with respect to the seed value and the configuration that they use. Because right now they've just shared the prompt and it is not helping much because you know everybody knows there is a different seed value there is a different guidance scale different number of steps so we do not know anything so if anybody from stability ai is watching this please make sure next time that you know the images that you share the prompt is easier for others to reproduce having said that let's jump dive in uh, let's dive into what is this um, stable diffusion v2.1 so now what stability ai has said is that after they release 2.0 a lot of people were saying that the anatomy is bad um, certain keywords like for example training on art station those kind of old prompting techniques have started not working out in the stable division 2.0 primarily because they changed the training data set uh, so they decided to remove adult content and they also decided to remove certain artists that had resulted in bad anatomy and uh, increased necessity to use negative prompts and also certain art um, artists getting out of the data set that had actually created a lot of confusion in the stable diffusion community people who you were using stable diffusion so now they're saying that they have addressed those things with respect to stable diffusion 2.1 and uh, that's exactly the stable diffusion 2.1 model is stable diffusion 2.1 is trained on stable diffusion 2.0 but with extra information like what are the things that we were missing Still, they have said that they have removed the adult content, but I don't know how good is that. But that means that they have got something back. For example, if I have to quickly show you a demo, this is a this is an image that I generated using the latest stable division 2.1, 768 by 768, the same seed value, just for reproducibility. You can see that the image that is generated here uses a prompt in which I have mentioned trending an art station. And then this uses another image where the prompt does not say trending on art station. So I don't know which image you prefer, but at least for me, the takeaway is the trending on art station actually works. So now, other than that, if there is any information in this blog post, that is that they have got celebrities, not necessarily original celebrity picture, which was also one of the complaints that a lot of people had, but they have got superheroes enabled. I don't know how effective it is because we have already seen a lot of fine tuned models for superheroes, but that is another announcement from stable diffusion that you can generate super superheroes using stable diffusion. Once again, um, these, all these are quite vague in terms of the prompts, in terms of what they've given reproducibility is definitely a challenge for me, at least whenever I see what they've given. But other than that, when I spent some time on the Reddit sub, uh, subreddit, I could see a lot of people appreciating stable diffusion 2.1 and I could also see start started uh, seeing pictures that people generated using stable diffusion 2.1. So it looks promising and I want you to try it out. How can you try it out? Go to this GitHub repository, this uh, Kunash, thanks to Kunash who has given us a very lightweight stable diffusion UI, GUI using radio. So you can go here and this is already updated with stable diffusion 2.1. And a lot of people using automatic UI also complain that they're getting black images. Right now, that problem does not exist in this UI. All you have to do is click open collab. After you click open collab, click the connect button here. Ideally, you would see a connect button here. After you connect, in case if you want to support the creator of this notebook, not me, creator of this notebook, you can buy them a coffee, support them with GitHub stars, just in case if you are using this extensively. The next thing is you can click this run button that will install all the dependencies. Next, click this run button that will run this Gradio notebook, Gradio application. Once you get to this stage, you can also get a URL that will take you to a place like this. 
Now this is a place where you can start playing with the prompt. I'm going to start with a very simple prompt saying close up portrait uh, studio close up studio studio portrait of a young Chinese girl studio lighting bright colors that's it I don't want cartoonish I don't want 3d I don't want blender I don't want deformed last time I mentioned ugly here one of my subscribers told me what do you mean by ugly but I don't know what do I mean by I just expect that stable diffusion model has some understanding what is ugly maybe it's trying to create a better picture so I don't know that's that's another ethical discussion all over again but again you can see that this UI takes a, like in my opinion takes a little bit more time than something like the last bin but the advantage here is that right now you can run it on Google Colab for free it's quite lightweight you don't have to spend like 5-10 minutes setting it up takes about 26-27 seconds um, if it is less number of steps right now I have gone with 40 steps and then at the end you can also see the seed value based on which this image has been created additionally this uh, UI also gives you text to image model this UI also gives you image to image model this UI also gives you the in painting model and you can also upscale it so right now this is the image that we have got um, I don't know what is your opinion about this image this is very similar to what I actually created with stable diffusion 2.0 I've got a separate tutorial how to create close-up portraits I'll link that in the YouTube description but again they said it is improving let's click upscale and then uh, okay it can also run out of GPU so I don't want to do it so if you have got a better GPU click upscale and then upscale it let's try a couple of more prompts like I can say a uh, close-up portrait of uh, of an old Chinese grandpa studio lighting bright colors and generate it again again I'm going ahead with 40 steps um, it's not necessarily that higher the steps you would get better image sometimes it is also very good for you to try out something starting from 7 8 and then you can see how the image changes because it's going to change sometimes the change is required for you sometimes the change is not required for you so um, it's it's up to you just do not go blindly by you know larger the step is better it is and then start using it so now let's see how the old portrait of an old portrait of an old chinese grandpa studio lighting looks like we have so far spent 38 seconds and this is the image this is too close uh, but again like i would take it so let's go to lexica.ai now to see if some of the older prompts actually you know make sense uh, that was one of the things like it would not necessarily be the exact same because they've changed the text encoder like the clip encoder is not not being used like open a clip encoder is not used now there is a open source version of the same uh, which is called open clip but let's pick a prompt here and then see this this looks really good i'm going to copy this i'm going to go back here i'm going to paste this here and i'm going to click generate and then see if we have a better image or at least something closer to that because it as you can see in the prompt it has got a bunch of artist name so we don't know what are, who are all the artists that stable diffusion decided to remove in the version 2 plus but this is what we have got we don't have time to do all fine tuning with new artists and we don't have to face those legal problems as well but uh, we have got this and unfortunately I'm using a negative prompt called cartoonish while I'm expecting a cartoonish image so maybe that's a clash let's see when it generates what is how it happened okay we we have got a cat is there a cat okay did we ask for a cat portrait of a cat oh we actually asked for a cat here it doesn't look like cat but indeed we have what we have got is cat that is promising uh, if I remove the negative prompt I don't know if it is going to change anything but let's remove the negative prompt and then try to see how it changes like you know what you saw before but let's see what you are going to get now as I mentioned before you can also do image to image you can also do in painting you can also do the stable diffusion latest 4x upscaling so which means 768 by 768 can be upscaled 4x but you just need enough GPU power for you to do it and uh, the same same 2.1 if you do not want to use any UI, you can also use it directly from diffusers library. All you have to do is change the model ID. 
install stable diffusers directly from github and then change the model id the model is already available or if you are using any other ui you can download the ckpt file here so you don't have to be bothered about any ui as such okay without negative prompt it doesn't look great it actually looks like an art but with negative prompt it looked really vibrant and um, i could actually see there is an improvement with respect to negative prompt what i do not know is how much improvement this is from the version 2.0 but like we saw especially keywords like trending on art station have started making uh, some impact in the final outcome image and that is a good sign for people who have been using trending on art station for kinecon on every single image that they were doing uh, i hope this is what i wanted to cover once again a huge shout out to anzork um the or kunash the user who who has made it easier for us to use stable diffusion in a lightweight ui does it it takes like just a couple of minutes to get started and then you have got a text image image to image in painting upscaling negative prompt and adjust a few other things i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to use stable diffusion version 2.1 on the gui gui also on collab which is uh, using diffusers if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i would love to see if you found any improvement using stable diffusion 2.1 especially on human anatomy see you in the next video happy prompting